So guys, what I'm gonna do, right, I'm gonna do a series of videos, right, on marketing and pricing up jobs and how to get the projects that you actually want to do. The reality is this, yeah? A lot of people just go out there with a shotgun effect, trying to blanket everything, trying to cover everything. You know, they're not really targeting exactly the type of work, the type of customers, type of clients, type of projects, type of areas that they want to cover. It's just a shotgun approach and it just scatters too much. Um, so I'm going to go through a series of videos just telling you some tips and tricks and a bit of that free advice and information from me to hopefully save you from stop wasting time and help you actually target and figure out what you want to do and where you want to be. So I'm going to talk about the stuff like the websites, uh, email marketing. I'm going to talk about Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Google. I'm going to talk about uh, the ones where you pay for the leads, like um, Trust the Trade, uh, I think that's one of them, Trust the Trade and Yell.com where you can advertise on there. I'm going to talk about all of them because I've actually done every single one of them. And I'm going to tell you how I get the work I get, the customers that I deal with and the relationships I like to have with them. So I'm going to be in, over a series of videos. I don't know how many it's going to be because I think it's a massive topic. I think it's a big area to cover. Um, but the one thing that I definitely don't do is aim to shotgun. I don't want to spread. When you fire a shotgun, the shells go... They go out like that and your target's in the middle but you're spreading all the way around it i'm not bothered about these targets out here that's where i want to be that's who i want to work with they're the type of people i want to be with and that's that out here doesn't matter so i think one of the big things in actually marketing your company and, and marketing yourself is the website it's the number one thing you need now I feel that this, talking about a website, is going to be like a, a big, massive, it, it's a big video that could be broken down so much, um, but it's vital, it's it's something that you shouldn't scream on, I'm not sure you need to pay 10 grand for a website, you know, but maybe you are going to spend a lot, a few thousand pounds, depending on the market you're going to hit, so you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to touch on it a little bit. I'm not going to go into too much detail, um, but there's so many things that no one tells you. You probably won't even know half of the stuff. I'm on about like a copywriter. Um, have you ever heard of a copywriter? Uh, this is someone who writes copy for your website. Now, on your website, right, the wording and how you word things and how you say things is quite a big thing. So when I first got my website for Cook Plastering, and I wanted to be a commercial company. I identified exactly what I wanted to hit. And that grew into a company that was, was it was a commercial company. So the website was a big thing and it had to be right. So I went to a, a website guy who was a friend of mine and he does this and he does massive, massive websites for the NHS. And, um, oh God, I can't remember half of the companies, but we're not talking about my websites to drop in the ocean to this guy. like. He does websites that are like 100 grand. Do you know what I mean? He does stuff like that. He does projects where, you know, NHS will pay the company that he, he works for hundreds of thousands of pounds just to do a, a campaign for him. So this is the type of person I knew. Like, and also being a friend, it's nice that we landed nice like that. But I know that this is the right person for the type of avenue I'm going down. He knows the languages that I don't know. He knows how to talk to people. He knows how certain things on the websites are going to react to certain people. And that's what he did. So I went to him with a brief of telling him, look, I want to be a commercial company. I want to be doing big work. I want to be doing big jobs. And... I want to be getting the the, the hundred thousand pound project coming through to me, and no problem. He designed me a website, and mate, do you know what? We have a laugh about it still today because that website was a beast. It was a beast. It was like within a year to two years, that's what escalated my company. So many people will go like, like wow, like your website was awesome. That's why we got in touch with you. It's like, that's what I did. Honestly, 
big massive contract managers and stuff like that the image that i got from that website made me look bigger than i already was and that's what it is when you're targeting commercial work i'm not going to do a full thing now about commercial because i could talk about commercial work all day the ins and outs of it but i'm about the targeting of them so we knew when it come to the website that well he knew shall i say when it comes to our website, it had to be a certain way, and he executed it, and that's what you pay for. That website was worth a fair few grand, but obviously we exchanged favours for each other, being friends, but if that had been anyone else, it would have been a fair few thousand pounds. Um, and he, he absolutely nailed it, and that escalated my company. So the number one thing you need is your website is the number one thing. That's where everything goes. Link, if you, it don't matter what type of company you're doing, type of company you're doing, pardon my words. If you're doing a commercial or domestic, a reactive, whatever, everything leads back to your website. So for every different aspect of, of sector of work you're gonna work in, you, you're gonna have um, leads that go straight back to your website. So if you're doing commercial work, you know, the platforms you're gonna look to be on are like LinkedIn, um, you're gonna have to look to smash Google. You're probably gonna have to do some networking, um, some high level business networking, not just your local BNI stuff. You know, these are the circles you're gonna have to move into be commercial. I can do a full video on commercial marketing. It, it's quite, it's, it's, it's quite easy. I could give you exactly what I did, take exactly what I did. The people are targeted and stuff like that. But you're gonna have to push, go on them networks there, like LinkedIn and all that, like I've just said. And then the traffic needs to be driven back to your website. But when they get to your website, it needs to, you know, it needs to say what you're doing or what you want to do. So if you're going for commercial jobs and it comes back to your website and you're doing little houses, no one's interested. They're not going to be interested for one minute. They're just going to look at it and go like, oh, well, that was a fake one, wasn't it? And then they'll go to the next guy. The reality is your website is vital. If I'm doing domestic work, I could not have my commercial website for domestic work. People, I know this because I've done I've done research on it. I've asked people, I've done my market research myself. I've asked customers, why why did you not go with us? Or why did you not ask us for a quote? When I know people have said, oh yeah, you you cut plastic. Yeah, oh, I just didn't want to ask you for a quote because I, I thought it'd be too big for you. I mean, too small for you, this job. They'd be like, I didn't ask for a quote because I thought the job would be too small for you. Or, or, they, or they always message saying, do you do small jobs? Because the website didn't give that effect off the website give off that we do blocks of flats that we do housing estates that we do all this type of commercial stuff it didn't people down the street wanted a bedroom they wouldn't have, wouldn't have even got in touch with us because they probably thought it would be too expensive they probably thought we wouldn't look at it it wouldn't be interested and it's not a past street too small for them even though like you know now i'm a domestic company and that's what i like to do but yeah it all comes back to how the image of your website is so number one thing for me to any advice to anybody is find your target market and then cater your website for that target market that is it and then from there you go put out your your lead you put out your feelers you put out your roots in all the platforms where your target market are hanging out that's what you do and what you do then is you put the right content in place which is another video for another day and you put your content in place that gives them the lead that comes back to your website that's what it is. And from your website, that's where we convert to jobs. That's how it goes. There's no other way about it. There's no other, the only other way you can get stuff is really referrals and stuff. But what I'm trying to tell you is this, that is the way you do it to a, to a target market. Yeah, you hang out where they hang out. Domestics is gonna be your Instagram, your Facebook, your Google, YouTube, you know, your commercials, it's gonna be your LinkedIn. It's gonna be, um, your website, Google, it's going to be a high value networking, high value networking. I'm talking about companies that like go and meet up and do like, you know, they have a beer and some food and it's a bit of dick measuring really, to be fair, everyone's trying to outdo each other, but that's where you get in them circles, talk to people. Next thing you know, yeah, seeing them about, seeing them about, there must be someone. That's how it works. People won't tell you this, but that's how it works. I used to go to them just to get jobs and it worked for me. I used to go on LinkedIn and batter it and people would be like, everyone knew me from LinkedIn. That's what people would say. I'd be out in town on a night out having a drink and that. And, and then one guy come up to me like that, ah, shook my hand and he went, love your content on LinkedIn. Every day you're putting a video up, every day you're showing us a project and he was going, I love that. Look at that, them houses you were doing and stuff like that. So people are noticing it. People are noticing it. I'm putting up videos of housing estates that I was doing. And people were noticing it. And what did I do then? Talk about it give your number to this guy. Oh, he does He does blocks of houses. That's how it works. 
kicking around on Instagram and Facebook looking for commercial work ain't gonna work, mate. So I'm going too much now into the other aspect of uh, another video. I could do another video on that, so I'm not gonna do it. But yeah, website, cater to the customers that you are targeting. That's what you need to do. And th that's down to the language that you use. That's down to the photos that you have, the image that you have, the story that you tell, you know, everything's on there. You know, commercial people don't want to, they don't really care about your uh, personal love for rendering. So for me talking about personal love, I love rendering, I love my machines. They ain't interested in that. The language they want to hear is fast, cost effective, save you money, reliable, all these type of things to do with speed, turnover. These are the type of things. Your health and safety has to be vital. All this stuff is for commercial. That's it. Domestic people, it's more of a connection. It's more of a, I love what I do. I enjoy doing this. This is my passion. And obviously you need to talk, be real, because people can see through bullshit. So, you know, with me, I talk about being emotional and passionate and connected to what I do, and I actually am. So it works for me and that's why I get the jobs I get. But commercial people, I know a few people who are trying to go that route. And uh, first of all, your website's the one number one thing um i'll have a word with my man uh by the time this comes out i might he might want me to put a link to this video he might not um for him to do his services because i know he's really busy anyway but he changed my business he changed my business like within a year from the seo in the back to all the content on the front to the language nailed it all i had to do was then go and push myself on the relevant platforms and get in front of the right people which is what we do so Anyhow, hope that helps you. Just remember, website, don't be tight. I've got a GoDaddy website, I'm not gonna lie, but the stuff I'm doing right now, I don't need anything more than that. I'm doing commercial, go see a pro, pay them a few grand, pay them what they're worth, and you'll get it. At least you'll do is get in front of them, and it's up to you to execute. Anyway, hope that helps you. Peace and love, cookie.